Street Journal. Today, Sarah at school told me her granddad had a stroke too. His mouth went lopsided and he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around watching the telly. I don't think Gran would enjoy that. She'd feel like she was giving up. She'd want to keep moving. Keep doing things. Gran always says. Give the world your kindness, and it will return it threefold. The more positive energy and kindness you give the world, the more you get back. When Mr. Parry's lawn got too high, Gran cut it for him. For the community centre meals, she baked cakes! She even does the unthinkable! She changed Ben's smelly nappies. We could do with kindness right now. Someone better step up. Me! Starting with... Bringing world peace? Cooking for the elderly? Cutting Mr. Parry's lawn. Tidying my room. Bringing order to chaos. A mighty struggle needs a suitable tagline. It's tidying time. And then I did the washing up from breakfast. Dad said. Then he bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty head. But it made Mum laugh. And 
when we got to the hospital later. Gran was sitting in a chair and looking out the window. She was smiling. So all the things I've been doing have been working. I just have to do more. There was kale for tea, which is a kind of vegetable torture, but I told myself that if I could eat all of it, then Gran would be even better tomorrow. Day. I ran up the stairs two at a time just to top things up. Pinky was very impressed and slept on my feet all night. Hello again, John. I couldn't sleep. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Well, Dad, maybe? But does any of this really make a difference? It's just... If there's a sliver of a chance, it actually does. I want to believe in it. Sarah told me that when her granddad was sick, she used to pray. I don't exactly know how that works, but best to hedge my bets. Please, 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 make Gran well. Sarah's family are pretty religious. Not like mum and dad. I don't know that much about religion, actually. I like the stories. Especially the one about the Ark and rescuing all the animals. Gran was raised Catholic, but I never really heard her talk about God, apart from that time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco's. We took care of the mess before the staff noticed. Gran even offered to pay for them. She said, if there is a god, 
They're in our actions. How we help and love one another. Seems right to me. So what should I do? I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. I can read it to her. I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. But first, I need to get on with the story. Having escaped the flaming caves, Lump and Grace ventured into... a tenebrous forest. Writing Lump is going to be fun. But if she's not so angry anymore, she might need another character flaw. Maybe... Uncontrollable cravings for... Gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! I missed you. Oh, sky fire is warm. Like love! That's the dragon! We've got to follow it! Dragon? Follow it. Let's go, Lump. Lump, you no know, like to follow anything that goes. Are you coming? Grey forest, dark, foreboding. Grace didn't care. Oh, you miss it? Yes, that's why I'm doing this. You miss home, but you leave it. Like a lizard? Oh, lizard's cute! A really, really big lizard! Oh. 
Grace couldn't help but smile at Lump's silliness. Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. We're getting closer. Um, do we want to be closer? Look, Lump! Dragonfire! It's here. Yes, yes. Dragon here. It's here. But the fruit had an irresistible draw on little Lump. Mm. No, Lump! Stay here! I need you! Lump's still here! He's busy! Grace felt her resolve melt. I need to find the 
dragon. I promised Elder Eva. Just what am I doing out here? All by myself? Silly human. Lump not left is in fruit. <laughs> Thanks, Lump. Grace knew she wouldn't swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow! You a okay, Caleb? Little dizzy, but good! Amazing. Doubt something strong and very, very large had been here recently. There it is. Dragon Wow. Great. We've seen it. We go now. Grace pursued the beast with little thought for her own safety. You won't get away from me again. I won't let you. Ah! No! Come back! Come back here! realized the dragon had gone far, far below. No! I... I... Her hope was shattered. I can't. It's okay, human. We find dragon again. Have another go, right? It's okay. Lump help! But how? Most of the pieces are gone. I can't even fix it. Look! You get on this, okay? I don't even know where I'm going anymore. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You tried though, human. That's 
important. Look! One of them's little glowy things you likes. A thing! You like things too, right? Huh? That's strange. Maybe there are some people around here after all. Energy stirred, reaching into the place beyond. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Already? It's only been a few millennia. Is it not wonderful to see light again? To feel sun? <laughs> I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. Who are you two? Ooh, ancient ones. Thought you was a myth. Oh, no, no, my little friend. We are very real. No, we're not. You're imagining us. Go away now. Now we're here, what can we do to help you? Mum, they could help us get to the dragon. But nothing is free in this market, or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we...? If help human, if it make human happy, lump say do it! Go away. 
I said go away. I need help. And? What do you expect me to do about it? Go away. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look, buy help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. the sacred fireflies and bring them back to my village. Hmm. Well, don't come complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head. What memory are you prepared to consign to the flames? Lovely to see you both. So, what is this place? The market of the lost and the forgotten. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. After a time, so were we. No one came here. No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. But to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. I'll tell everyone about you. No one will ever forget you again. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Something dear to your heart. Elder Ava gave me this. A pendant gleamed with hopeful memories. I don't know if I should. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one got anything just by wanting it. Last offering must keep our fire burning. A gesture of hope, a friendship. But it cannot be given by you. And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> what about love? You have something to give? Sure, I got love. You would give yourself to help your friend? You don't have to do this. There must be another way. 
this is important to Human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Lump want to give you something too. I don't want you to do this, Lump. I know, but Lump decide this. It is important. You made promise to find Dragon. Lump helps. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye for us. Hello for you and Dragon. As little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Grace felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She could now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> forget what you did. I should go to the lake. Follow the dragon. I guess. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. Where once there was light was now darkness. Where there was noise only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake looked murky, but she had to brave its depths. It's 5 a.m. Grand died in the night. 